Good morning. I'm Kelsey Webb. Here's what's happening at 832. Ohio voters will decide on recreational marijuana on the November ballot. That measure was cleared yesterday after previously not having the required amount of signatures. It would make selling, purchasing, and possessing the drug legal in the state for adults 21 and over. The Franklin County DUI Task Force is cracking down on impaired drivers. It will ramp up patrols to combat a rise in impaired driving that typically happens toward the end of the summer into the football tailgating season. There will be a DUI checkpoint tomorrow on the east side of Columbus. Back to school week continues here in central Ohio. School districts returning to class today include Bexley, Buckeye Valley, Dublin, Gahanna, Newark, Olentangy, Reynoldsburg, and Whitehall. Columbus City goes back next Wednesday. A public defender in Franklin County has been arrested for possessing child porn. Stephen Chin of Grandview was taken into custody after an investigation by multiple local law enforcement agencies. A Columbus family has won a settlement that's believed to be the largest wrongful death verdict in the state's history. The jury awarded the family $787 million after their two-year-old died from getting trapped between the step and a rail on a bunk bed from Wayfair. At least 110 people are confirmed dead in Maui in what has become the deadliest wildfire in modern U.S. history. The Georgia District Attorney prosecuting former President Trump is proposing the trial begin in March. Trump and 18 co-defendants have been indicted over their alleged attempts to overturn Georgia's 2020 election. And Ohio has its opening game in the Little League World Series tonight in Pennsylvania. Great Lakes representative New Albany will face a team from California. That game is on ESPN2. Storm Team 4 meteorologist McKenna King says partly sunny. High of 83 today. And that's what's happening on this Thursday morning. I'm Kelsey Webb on the WNCI Morning Zoo. Dave and Jimmy, with joke news you can trust in a moment. Some of you are coming back to the radio after having the summer off. Well, sorry, but here we are anyway. Next couple weeks going to be good. Just looking at our schedule. Jimmy Jam is going to be inducted into his high school hall of fame, and we are going to cover it like the Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> we are going to go over cup. We're going to go oh, overboard so on this so small exciting. little thing in the in the you know perspective of the world small little thing but oh Not we're going to cover it small in your world yeah. buddy <laughs> it's like a little th it's it's good for you and i'm very happy for you it's but it's awesome. a small little thing it's it's like uh a, a i was the grand marshal for a teeny parade in my neighborhood and they yeah. gave me a plaque and i'm like oh that's wish fulfillment but we'll well, come i couldn't believe how proud i was i was like you know like hey you're being nominated like, that's cool and then when I guess like, oh my god, I made it! I made it! That's so awesome. Also, in a couple weeks, our favorite DJ from England, Tony Dibbon, will come back and join us. But now, fast moving, late breaking joke news. You can trust live and local on your side. Here's Joe King. Good morning. morning. How are you? Totally different voice. Are you ready for some news? Yeah. All right. Are you ready, Dave? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Lionel Richie apologized for having to cancel a concert in New York due to poor weather conditions. His apology began with the words, Hello, is it me you're looking for? <laughs> Hello. I was waiting. <laughs> is it me you're looking for? All right. Long, okay. way, long way for that one. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of Richie apologized for being late to his concert in New York. Okay. We're canceling it, actually. Yeah, Thousands desperately awaited his arrival. And those are just the Commodores. <laughs> You have to know a bit for that. That's a big group. Nick Jonas fell into a hole on stage during a Jonas Brothers show. Hell rightfully claimed another member. <laughs> <laughs> After an online feud, Selena Gomez was seen out, out in the town. After an online feud, Selena Gomez was seen out on the town with her old friend Francia. Aww. Sounds like someone needs a new liver. <laughs> That's a good one. Toyota is recalling 168,000 vehicles due to potential fuel leak that could cause a fire. Yeah, the models being affected are the 2022 and 2023 Toyota Exploda. <laughs> Back to school time. Yay. U.S. high schools are offering shop class again. Huh. Shop teachers give the move two nubs up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. 
University in Belgium is offering a class that analyzes Taylor Swift lyrics. But keep in mind, this is a country whose greatest contribution is a type of waffle. <laughs> uh, Mission Impossible 7 has now grossed half a billion dollars. First Barbie, now Tom Cruise. What a summer for tiny plastic figures. Uh, Come on. That's good. The author of a best-selling book about the G-Spot died at 102. Hmm. I tried to find that book at Barnes & Noble. It's impossible <laughs> to find. <laughs> you and every other guy looking for it. Thank you. Uh, Ed Sheeran took a shift at the Lego store in the Mall of America. Debbie Gibson took a shift to Sparrow, but in her case, it was for a paycheck. For real. <laughs> Oprah was seen handing out supplies to the needy. <laughs> Former members of Destiny Child, Destiny's Child really appreciate it. <laughs> the Big Brother house guest was kicked off the show for using the N-word. No. See that? Yeah. Oh, wow. His country album comes out Tuesday. Oh. <laughs> it's already number one. <laughs> Christy Turlington says she'll never get plastic surgery. I agree. Women should age like wine, naturally, and in a cellar. <laughs> No, I did not see Barbie. <laughs> a meteor shower took place over the weekend. It's as close as people will ever get to meteorites, and as Post Malone will ever get to a shower. <laughs> Doctors say you now only need 4,000 steps a day. Once you get them, be sure to announce it to everyone around you, because they care. Yes. <laughs> Sir Mix-a-Lot, turn 60. These days, it's more like Sir Mix-a-Lot met... Ah. These days, it's more like Sir Mix-a-Lot of Metamucil. Right. <laughs> Whatever. The Emmys are moving to January. Mid the writer's strike. Wow, it's going to feel so weird ignoring the Emmys in January rather than ignoring them in the fall. <laughs> Elvis Presley's revolver is up for auction. You can tell it belonged to Elvis because the barrel is clogged with cholesterol. <laughs> <laughs> End on that. All right, it's fine. Oh, that was very satisfying breaking joke news. Yeah. <laughs> You gotta go see Barbie. I have so much more. Well, then tomorrow. No, we don't want two days in a row. Uh, maybe, we maybe. Can do it. We'll see. We'll Believe see. me. See me tomorrow at six a.m. All right. What do you think? Yeah, that. This is Dave and Jimmy. You are listening to the number one rated morning zoo. With Dave and Jimmy. We start the day with some patchy fog, but with dry conditions. Expect gradually building clouds with highs in the lower 80s. Scattered showers then move in late afternoon. I'm Storm Team 4 meteorologist McKenna King on the Morning Zoo. At 841, it's 65. It's a beautiful morning. Many of you have dropped the kid off. Hmm? Or about to drop the kid off. So distract yourself. We're only 16 days away from Ohio State football. Yeah. Somewhere in the next two weeks, I hope I hear a name of a dude throwing the ball. You might starter. not. You might not. Mm. I might not. I don't know. They might wait till the week of to make an announcement. I don't okay, know. Well, if it's 16 days, somewhere in the two weeks. I'm a little worried about that Indiana game. It's only Indiana. Mm -hmm. But it's on the road with a new quarterback. Just an ounce wait, worry. Indiana has always played us tough. You don't forget. Not even always. With, you might forget even with some of our best gunslingers, we, we escaped last time we were there. I don't know. It was like I don't a know what to expect this year. game. It was an escape. I don't know what to expect from this team this year. Is our defense going to suck again? I mean, they're, they're talking about them like they're the next coming because there's so many returning players, but I don't know. Okay, well, for another day, we, we'll wait on Not sure Ryan, on the coaching staff Ryan on this Day. one. We'll, to, we'll hope they all come through this year. I hope he uh, picks a quarterback and then shaves because the guy is a nonstop <laughs> Five o'clock shadow machine. He is. I like his beard. I just too. I like oh, the beard. Jealous. Never oh. been able to grow uh, one myself. I got jealousy over five o'clock shadow. I shouldn't. These are the news stories I sent to Kelsey, but for some reason she didn't like them. There's a uh, national truck driving skills competition I going on. I said that one. Uh, it's not what you think it is. It's like safely driving trucks. Mm -hmm. But maybe you shouldn't have sent it here. The driving skills competition <laughs> takes place every day on 70 and 71. <laughs> How fast can go. that 18-wheeler go? <laughs> That's the race. That's where the race happens. Yeah. I see it every morning when I'm hitting I-71. Did eat you up? Uh, there is a non-stop stream because a lot, that of little vault looking lot, around. Of truckers, <laughs> lot of truckers go all night, okay? Yeah. So they're still on the road where I'm getting to work. Oh, and they're coming. Because they haven't seen anything for miles. No, I, it would be horrible. I would hate that job. Huh. Sometimes I'd be like, 
Wouldn't it be nice to be a trucker and be away from everything? No. Just, you know, no. have no one to talk to for hours. And I'm like, mm-hmm. eh, maybe for two hours, and I'd go crazy. Yeah. Um, they did it. Ohio uh, is going to vote on recreational marijuana in November. The people behind it were originally shut out of putting it on the ballot because they didn't have enough authentic signatures. And we wondered aloud if these stoners could get it together in a two-week window to get the rest of the signatures. Well, they did. They did. They did. Yay. Oh, and they're celebrating, too. <laughs> I wonder how. I don't know. <laughs> Probably illegal at this point. Mm-hmm. But it'll be on the uh, November ballot. And it's interesting between public opinion and what the voters actually do. I don't know how pot polls in Ohio. But what it matters is who shows up to vote. And something tells me someone who's really high is not going to make that trip to a voting booth Tuesday. WNCI Comfort Dental Traffic. On the west side, we are busy on 70 eastbound between Mountain Street and 315. Coming from the south side on 71 northbound, you'll find some slowdowns between Green Lawn Avenue and I-70. This report is sponsored by Colonel Seasons, available at Walmart.